Hey everyone, this is Grace from Kapwing, and today I'm going to show you how to do the Turkey in Disguise activity digitally for Thanksgiving this year. The Disguise a Turkey activity is a classic for schools around Thanksgiving time. It's inspired by the book Turkey Trouble, where a turkey disguises himself to avoid being eaten on Thanksgiving. After reading the book, students usually go and create a disguise for the turkey themselves and even write a story to go along with it. But virtual learning makes this harder as students may not have craft materials at home. So in this video, I'll show you how students can still complete the Disguise a Turkey activity digitally using this template and the Kapoing editor. This editor is free online and no sign-in is required to use it. Within the editor, students can search for images, erase image backgrounds, add text, and even add GIFs. Now let's get started and I'll show you how to use the editor to make a turkey disguise. So to get to the Turkey in Disguise template, you can just click the first link in the description below. If you just want the template, for example, to print out and you don't want to do it digitally, you want to do this activity traditionally as it's done on paper, you can use the template right here. Click the image itself and just save, save the image as to your documents or desktop, wherever you want on your computer. Then you can open that file and then print as you would a normal document. But to make it digitally, you can just click make it. And this brings you right into our editor here. First, you might wanna brainstorm what kind of disguise you want to give your turkey. There are many ways you can go with this. Maybe you wanna disguise the turkey with human clothing and hats. Another idea is to turn it into an astronaut turkey and pretend it's in space. A third idea is to turn the turkey into Santa Claus. All the tools you need are right in this editor. You don't even need to go to Google images to find images. You can just click the images tab here and then search for whatever you want and it sources from Google. We also have just regular shapes in the elements tab here. So for example, if you wanted to construct a disguise using like different squares. Maybe you want to make a robot disguise. You can add squares and other shapes, change their colors and size on the side here and construct something out of that. So for example, I'm going to start making this turkey into a pretend human. I'm going to find sunglasses first. So I'm going to search sunglasses and add the word PNG at the end so that I get more search results that have no background. So as you can see here, these red sunglasses don't have a background, but this, this image would. So the ones without backgrounds just blend in more easily with the image and look like they're actually on the turkey's face. I like this one, I'm gonna click that and it brings it right into the editor. So to resize it proportionally, I'm gonna click lock ratio here and that makes sure that when I drag these dots to resize, it sticks to the original dimensions. And I'm gonna just put that over the turkey's eyes. So now the turkey has sunglasses. Now I'm gonna add a shirt. Club Penguin is a game that had some really good shirts and they work with uh, the proportions of this turkey in my opinion. So this is the kind of shirt I was thinking of. It just fits with the turkey's body, so I'm gonna use one of those. We even have some full outfits down here and I'm gonna choose to bring in this one. So I can just click and obviously it doesn't seem to look like it's really on the turkey since it has this white border, but we have an image eraser here. So I'm going to just click this photo and then click erase on the side. And I wanna delete this white border. You have two options for erasing. You have the magic wand, which is erases backgrounds and similar colors really efficiently. You can just click and drag and you can see it's selected this whole white outside area. Then just hit delete and all those pixels are gone. And then you also have the freehand erase tool. So I'm gonna go in with this and erase this white border. And you, all you have to do is drag over the pixels to delete them. There we go, I'm gonna click done. And now I can place this on the turkey. Now you can see that even without that white border, it doesn't look that convincing because a shirt should only show the front part when it's on your, your body. So I also need to go in and erase this this neckline and this part that should be behind the turkey. I'm gonna go back into the erase tool and then use the magic wand again to select this area, delete it. I'm gonna go in with the freehand erase and erase the back collar too. Cool, let's see how this looks now. Awesome, 
So now the turkey is really wearing the shirt. I'm gonna add a few more things using the same procedure, going into the images and searching for something to add more to this disguise. So as you can see, I've added a hat and then shoes. I'm gonna add a background. So I'm gonna pretend this turkey is just a regular person walking down the street. So I'm gonna just search, search for street scene. I'm gonna just choose this one. And then I'm gonna just drag these corners to resize it. And so now that it's covering the turkey, I need to send it backwards behind the other layers. So there's this button in the corner here that I've zoomed in to. So we just click send backward as many times as you need until it's all the way behind the turkey. So now you can see the turkey looks like he's just standing in New York City. And then if you want, you can even add GIFs into this editor. So for example, you can just search in the images tab for GIF PNG to find transparent ones and choose any ones you want. I'm gonna just keep it as an image though. And some other things that go along with that, this activity are writing a story about your turkey and why it's disguised this way, what the backstory is. To do that, you can click add text up here and then change whatever text you want. You can adjust the text and how it looks on the side. On the right side, change the font color and even add like a background color so you can see it. And then once you are ready to finish up your turkey disguise, just click the export button up here. Awesome, so my turkey in disguise is done loading, it is finished. And to save this file to your device, you can just click download and it'll save the image or whatever you made to your computer. You can also always go in to edit or make a copy of this project and to share it with other people, for example, teachers or classmates, you can just copy the link right to this page and send it to them and they'll be able to see what you made. Thanks for watching this video. If it was helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing to our channel for more content creation tips. Let us know what other videos you want to see in the future and we'll see you in the next one.